guys welcome back to our channel for today's video i'm gonna show you the amazing truly homes in alvaro bello the most pleasant place for touring in south italy alvaro bello is located in the region of folia in southern italy it has 10,735 inhabitants and it's a famous for the unique trolo buildings the Trulli of Alvero Bello has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1996. The characteristic whitewashed conical roofed houses of the area. It makes an interesting day trip destination or a pleasant base for a few days, especially if you stay in a Trullo of your very own. What is a Trullo? A Trullo is a small dwelling built from the local limestone with dry stone walls and a characteristic conical roof. It's a traditional and simple type of structure when you'll see dotted around this part of Polia. Sometimes in its most basic form used as a kind of shade among the olives groups. The story behind Albero Bello, once a town of Trolli alone, is a typically Italian one. Its design was to fiddle taxes and for the authorities. The local feudal lord Gan Aquaveba moved his peasant workers here to clear woodland and cultivate the land, to regal around laws and taxes. It was important that Albelo Velo didn't class as an inhabited settlement. So until 1797, when Albero Velo was finally given town status and people had to live in Trulli, which could be dismantled in a hurry when necessary. The buildings are usually square and have very thick stone walls, constructed without mortar. The thickness is treating the structure and also helps regulate the internal temperature. The roof is actually a dome, as you can see when you enter one of the buildings, but it's almost invariably built up on top into a cone shape, topping with a spire. There is generally a central room with additional living spaces in arc alcaps. Residential trolley are smartly whitewashed, and their ropes are often decorated with fanciful painted symbols supposed to have religious or superstitious significance. The fanciness is the spire decoration, was something of a status symbol. It showed the builder's skills and thus the spending power of the owners. Frequently, the houses consist of more than one trulu roof. They are more like trulu, complexes crowned with several roof pumps. Things to see in Albero Velo The principal tourist activity in Albero Velo is wandering around looking at trulu. There are also a handful of small museum and plenty of opportunities for buying kitchen souvenirs and tasting local products. The center of Albero Velo is mostly composed of typical small town Italian streets and buildings, with a few trolley interfaces among the buildings in a surreal fashion. Some older back streets are lined shifty with residential trolley. The most picturesque part of Albero Velo, do and strangers, are the two areas composed almost entirely of trolley, over a thousand of them. Here the little white pointy tapped dwellings are clustered together like a habit town. The most touristy part of Albero Bello is Rione Monte, a district of a slope facing the modern town center. It consists of several narrow lanes sloping upwards with other winding along the hillsides, and is extremely picturesque both from afar and close up. Walking around is enjoyable but be prepared for constant welcomes from the local vendors sitting outside their trolley shop and bars. You'll find colorful terracotta whistles, a local foliating, some simple local ceramics, trolley snowstorms, sliding pins, and everything possible shaped like a trolley, from money boxes to silver jewelry. Many buildings contain tiny bars where you can sample local wines where are also sold in the Tory shop along with biscuits and pasta. Although the area is obviously one big tourist trap, the prices aren't extortionate, 
There's too much competition. The owners will try to entice you in with all sorts of claim and promises. The oldest Rulu, a panoramic terrace. Free wine and liqueur tasting. Especially if you don't have the chance to stay in a Rulu, accept the low-key sales features and enter to have a look around. You will be able to see some entries, and the panoramic terraces do have good views. Heading up via Monte Michel, beyond the commerce, the explorer reaches Albero Villos, 20th century through Charles the Chesa de San Antonio. The second truly district is called Aya Pecola. This is very different to Reuni Monte, and it's less visited by tourists. It is still a residential area with quiet lanes lined with little inhabited truly, one of which we were invited into by two friendly old men. The rest of Albero Villu is mostly normal buildings, but with trolley popping up, pictures key here and there. Behind the large town church, the Chesa di Santi Medici, Cosma e Damiano, are small lanes of trolley leading to Trollo Sobrano. This is a Trollo house on the grand scale, which is Spanish with period fittings. It forms an interesting contrast to the smaller houses and makes living in a Trollo scene as a very comfortable proposition. And usefully, it is a two-story building. There are information boards with English translation. A spy hall next to the door allowed residents to inspect their visitors. And according to the information board, in extreme cases, to shoot any ill extension arrivals. From the church along street, Corso Vittorio Emanuel leads down through town towards the main trolley areas. It's quiet, a gracious street with a few bars, shops, and restaurants dotted along it. And it's much favored by the elderly men who pass their times, who pass their time in small groups on benches and pavements. The main town square Piazza de Popolo is a pleasant open space with tables and benches for watching the world go by. Just beyond this, next to the church of Santa Lucia, it's a Belvedere offering good views over the tree. Nearby is the town museum, the Museo di Territorio. This is a rather fabulous structure of over combined trolley. It contains small displays of agricultural and buildings equipment. A couple of rooms recreated in period style which give a good idea of how inhabitants used to live and some spires from the top of the trolley. Albero Velo has a few other small museums as well as the many trolley which build themselves as museum of shoe trolley but are basically just souvenir shops. There is a museum of olive oil, a museum of wine, and a museum of handicrafts. Since the tourist industry here is still developing, one suspects that there will soon be more. The main tourist information office is at the Casa de Amore, just of Piazza di Popolo. However, when we visited, the staff were not terribly knowledgeable, could not understand or decide to explore the local countryside on foot and were able to provide no more information than a photocopy than plant with English notes. According to this legend of this Trudeau, one lived two brothers they both fell in love with the same girl. She was promised to the eldest but ended up falling in love with the younger brother. The three began to live under the same roof but the cohabitation was unbearable. So they divided the trulo in half and created a second independent door. Hope you like my video and if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to like and consider to subscribe. Hit the notification bell below so that you will be updated in my next video. Thank you. Bye bye.